In this live stream at Mahjong time, we're going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong. If you are new to Hong Kong Mahjong, look for a link in the video description below for this player reference. In here are all the scoring elements and on the back, instructions on how to play the game. It's relatively easy. You just need four sets and a pair. Now, if you play at a zero point minimum table, the combination can be anything. But if you play at an eight point minimum, you gotta have three fun to win. That's where you need those scoring elements. There's also a link to a lesson playlist that can help you to learn the fundamentals. Watch this live stream. You may catch on even without watching the lessons. It's that easy. If you do not see the word live at the top of the screen, this is the repost. Let's go live. There we go, we're live. Let me double check on Facebook. I'm going to post a link just in case. Sometimes people have a little bit of a hard time finding the live stream. You can either go through Facebook and the event that I post every Sunday night, or you can just go directly to my YouTube channel at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Most Sunday nights, I'll be live. Okay, let's see how this goes. We have four watching, so I think we got it this time. Hi, Laura and Marnie and Mary. I guess you all found the live stream. Laura, how was your trek here this time? Did you have any trouble with those new links? Let me know. I'm hoping that these changes helped this time. Hi, Peggy. Welcome to the live stream. Hong Kong Mahjong tonight. And I'm going to try really hard to play at chicken hand tables and not get beat. I'm going to try really hard to not get greedy. My challenge at chicken hand tables is I want to stack fawn. And when you play at a chicken hand table, you need to just win with any combination. And the score does not matter. You just want to win as quick as you can. It's a different kind of game, but it's just as fun. Okay, no problems. People had no problems tonight. Woohoo! Okay, let's see, Laura, you actually got the notification and just clicked on it instead of looking. Excellent, excellent. Received a notification in Facebook. Excellent, oh my gosh, what a relief. <laughs> the last couple of weeks have been <laughs> a little bit, uh, a little bit of a goose chase, to put it nicely. Hi, Donna, welcome to this live stream. All right, we're gonna join. Here is an Here's a table. Let's see if we can find something with eight points, though. Uh, no open tables. Okay, let's see. No, no open tables. That's okay. We'll just chat for a minute. Oh, yay, Long Island. Welcome. Okay, here's a table. Now, we got a chicken hand table. Zero points. Quick Mahjong, one game. Quick Mahjong means it's just one game. Anytime there's a round, it's going to be a while, so make sure that if you click on a table that goes for a whole round, that you're ready to dedicate some time, because if East wins, they keep the dice, and it could lengthen the time of the game. I think it times out after one hour. Okay, so I don't see any quick mahjongs here. Let's see here. Quick mahjong. No. No. Eight points. Okay, here we go. I'm going to join this table here. Uh, Riyadh. Riyadh. Whatever. Eight points, one round. So that, that'll be a while. Oh, here, here. Here's a uh, zero point. Oh, round. 
a whole round of chicken hands. I don't know if I can take it. Let's see here. Um, we have... The mic is too close, muffled. Okay, thank you. I, I still am not used to this. Okay, is this better? Is this better? Create an eight point quick, yes. Let's exit. Oh, there was one. Okay, is the sound better? Gerald, is the sound better? Okay, excellent. I just get excited and I get loud when I get excited. It's a personality flaw. Okay, here's one. We're going to join that. What happened to it? Here we go. Okay, four sets and a pair of anything. No stacking required. Okay, so if I get loud, remind me to tone it down. Oh, look at all these cracks. We have two pair. We could pung and chow in here. I'm going to try really hard not to stack. I'm just going to go for a quick win. Four blocks and a pair. Three in a sequence, three of a kind, four of a kind, because there are four of every tile. Four blocks and a pair. That's all you need. When you play at a zero point minimum, it could be any combination. So we already have a chow. One, two, three. We have two pair. Those could become pungs, maybe. Let's get rid of these green dragons. Green. There's only four of every tile, so since two green dragons were out, that was a pretty good discard. North wind. We have two chows, mm -hmm. one, two, three in cracks, and three, four, five in cracks. We have a pair and a potential chow with the one, three. One, two, three. Nine characters. We're still short a set. Okay, excellent. Okay, four crack. We already have a chow. Uh, let's see. We'll chow. We'll chow with two, three, two, three, four, five. Chow. That leaves us with two potential chows. Even though we broke a chow to make a chow, we were left with two potential chows. One, two, and three, four. Nine dots. There's a three. That could be helpful. Let's get rid of the nine crack. Nine characters. So we have a one, three potential chow, one, two potential chow with cracks. Oh, we have a one, two, three actually, and then a three, four potential chow. We're one away from ready. One dot. And this would be all chow at the moment. Mm. This is a pretty quick game. You want to try to be ready to win in six discards because a lot of people will go for those chicken hands and those are really quick to make. We'll chow. chow. Three, four, five out. Let's discard the eight bam and we're ready to win on a two bam for all chow. We are in west seat and we do have our own flower so this will be a two fawn hand. All chow and our flower. We need a two bam to win. And this is mixed suits so it'll be a low score, all chow, one fawn. Two bam to win. One bamboo. We don't need an eight crack. Eight characters. Chow. Oh, and you may have missed this, but there's a link to this quick reference. This has all the scoring in it and also instructions for how to play the game. So even though we were ready to win, somebody else beat us to the punch. They have a one fawn hand, and that fawn is no flowers. The value of their hand, chicken hand, zero fawn. That is why you want to try to be as quick as you can. The reason why their, the value of their hand is zero is because they mixed chows and pungs in different suits. That is the only reason in this case why that has no value. Okay. So somebody was just saying hi, ASDOC. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can play again. Okay, Long Island says Mahjong Time will work on your tablet and phone, but not on a netbook. 
I've never heard of a netbook. Is that a Mac product? So I'm not sure. If Slava joins us tonight, maybe we could ask him. I don't know what is a netbook. Is that Microsoft? Is that a Microsoft pro, uh, device? Okay, so you you saw what it was like to play at a chicken hand table. Let's play at an eight point minimum now. So we're gonna try to find a quick mahjong at an eight point table. I'm gonna create a table. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a small Dell netbook. Okay, Windows eight point two. Hmm. Is it okay? Is it uh, a new device or is it an old device? Because it may just be maybe your flash needs to be updated or something. Windows 8.2. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, so I'm going to go to advanced settings. And just so you know, let me back out so you can see how to create a table. You go to the upper right corner and click new game. And then just go straight to advanced settings because if you if you try to create a certain combination it'll reset everything for you based on defaults so just click advanced and go right to the full customization dialog box and then give it a name we're going to call this yellow mountain and then we're gonna put a low value to enter, 250, 250 dragon chips. And we're just gonna open it up to the public. We need minimum eight, eight seconds. And we're going to do eight minimum points to declare Mahjong. And I believe it has to be a green, a white belt with a green stripe. Let's see what happens here. Nothing happened. Okay, so game names in use, close, Yellow Mountain, there it is, eight point minimum. We'll join, and now you can see a comparison between a chicken hand table and an eight point minimum. That would mean three fawn. A quick go-to is all pung, all three of a kind, and you can mix suits with all three of a kind, because it's three fawn. Also a quick go-to is a half flush, one suit with wins and dragons, any combination. Those are two quick go-tos. Hi, Jingles, welcome. And you got notified, awesome. Oh, I'm so, th I'm so glad. Okay, Plet is gonna join us. Oh, okay, so it's older. So that netbook, I wonder if, if it maybe doesn't have the drivers or something? I'm not sure. I'll have to rewatch this and ask about that particular device. So we have three players at the moment. And again, we're going to need to have three fawn minimum. That equates to eight points. So we're going to look quickly for Alpung, Half Flesh, or maybe Valued Honors. Valued Honors would be the Wind of the Round, which will be East. Also, General's going to join us. So we have a full table here. Uh, so wind of the round, seat wind, your flowers can count as part of your hand as well. That's one of the differentiators with Hong Kong Mahjong. So here we have one pair, lots of bams, and two single honors. We have five offsuit tiles, the cracks and dots. The quickest way to three fawn is going to be a half flush in this case. The reason being, we have only one pair. If you have four pair from the onset, all pung is a great hand. If you have three pair, I would even do that. So in this case, we're gonna let this go because we have way more bam potential than we do pung potential. So here we're gonna go ahead and chow. Unless somebody pungs. I clicked chow, we should get a chow unless somebody pungs. If, if two people want the same tile, chow. there we go. <clears throat> so since a one was discarded, let's discard that. One character. If somebody wants the same tile as you, and they want one it for character. a pung and you want it for a chow, the pung takes precedence. 
So somebody might have had a pair of six bands and they were thinking about it. Any honor we're going to collect, regardless of what it is. One character. Honors are winds and dragons. And any combination of one suit mm -hmm. with any winds and dragons, pung, pair, yeah. that will get you to a half flush. So we're just going to hoard winds, dragons, and bams. Eventually, we'll pair up. Two bamboos. Or we'll be able to collect cracks, or bams, I mean, and chow. All right, let's see here. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Welcome to this live stream. Long Island says, whatever it is, it says it's an... In, in Spiron. In, okay. All right. That'll be good for future reference. I'll see if I can figure it out for you. I wonder if there's a specifications page on Mahjong time. I'll ask about it because I don't remember seeing anything about a spec page. Okay. We're going to get rid of cracks and dots. And we're going to focus on bams and honors. We need to pair up these honors. When you have number tiles, two through eight, especially in mixed suits, single winds and dragons will not help you you have to pair up or pair up and pung and if you don't know a pung is a three of a kind so these single honors they look pretty but we got to pair up we have a chow with a seven eight nine and a potential chow with a two three uh oh somebody tried to declare mahjong and it was an invalid declaration they had zero fawn i think it was a mistake let's see wait a minute that was kind of strange let's go look at their hand here so they had they had four sets and a pair but they have no fawn they have it and it's because they have a pung and they mixed it with chows in different suits. That is a chicken hand. So they they tried to declare mahjong, and they took a penalty for it, and we each got our chips back. So that's the problem there. Oh, somebody already got into the table. I missed out. Let's go back to the lobby. Let's see about that chicken hand, or that yellow mountain. Oh, so they already got to play okay that's okay we'll jump to the chicken hand table so now we're going to play at a table where there's zero fawn so this is a chicken hand table anything will do you can win with any four sets in a pair it's okay to mix no score is fine so let's see what we can do we got to be quick you got to be quick okay we have three pair this is where I would play all Pung, but we do have a Chow. We have one, two, three, North four wind. blocks. We just need a, an, an, another pair in here. North wind. Let's get rid of the South. South wind. We're going to Chow and Pung as best we can. We'll take the first thing that comes. White. We have a five, six, seven Chow already. South wind. Okay, we'll get rid of isolated tiles like the six bam. Six bam. That's not connected to anything. The five six can chow, the seven nine can chow, even the five seven can chow. We'll pung that. That is actually a fawn right there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the, the nine crack. Nine. We're really one away from a winning hand here. We need a chow with a one, two, three, bam. And then we need to pung. Let's see here, Pung either the five or the one. So we'll get rid of the north. north wind. So we're looking to Pung or Chow. Four if we Chow the five, seven here and dots, we'll have really, it'll still be Dragon Pung Nine regardless. Characters. Dragon Pung will be the value of the hand. And that's one fawn. Eight characters. We already have a Chow. So in this case, I'm not gonna break it. I'm not gonna break this Chow. Yeah. Somebody got Mahjong. And it's going to be a chicken hand. Oh, they have one fawn because they have their own flower. They have their own flower. Their seat is south and they have a number two flower. The hand itself, zero fawn. That's a chicken hand. So let's see. Oh, let's see. Peggy, he didn't declare Mahjong. The computer knows he couldn't get enough points. 
and they shut us down. Well, I think he clicked Mahjong, and that would be a false Mahjong. So he got a penalty. Okay, let's see here. Where's Yellow Mountain is in progress? Eight points. I'm looking for a quick... Oh, here we go. Eight times... Oh, here we go. Yellow Mountain right there. There we go. Let's see if we can get people here. This is at eight point now. So here at this table, you've got to have three fawn. Okay. Hey, Taylor, welcome to the game. Pound new or oh, hashtag new. I always say pound. My son corrected me. He said it's not pound, mom. It's hashtag. So welcome to the game. Welcome to the live stream. Okay, look at this. We have a pung of red dragons. That's kind of a nice way to start, but we only have one other pair. So this is going to be a long world to haul if we play all pung. We only have None two blocks. We have mixed suits. We're in South Seat. That is a valued honor for us. Let's go ahead and discard six dots. Maybe we can collect either bams or cracks. We do have a Some chow in characters. here. But when you mix suits, your number tiles will have no value. Seven bamboo. So we need to get three fawns somewhere. Right now we have only one with our dragon. Four characters. Let's go ahead and chow, chow. and then we'll collect cracks. Nine Sacrifice. Nine the nine later. We'll hold it as long as we can. If we pair up, we can play all Pung. If we do not, we can go with Half Flesh and Cracks. Nine dots. So we're looking for Cracks. Now we have a pair green of Green Dragons. dragons. That could give us another Fawn. At the moment, we have no Flowers. No Flowers is a Fawn. So we would have, if we can get that Dragon Pung with the Green Dragon, one is already out. We're going to sacrifice the nine bam. Nine bamboo. Since we have a chow of cracks out, if we mix a pung of number tiles with a chow in a different suit, none of your number tiles are going to have value. So we're going to focus on cracks and honors. Hopefully we can pung this green dragon for a second fawn. North wind. We just picked up a crack. That'll help us maybe get a chow. Nine we have an eight nine. So all we need there is a seven. You can only chow with a discard from the player on your left. So if they discard a seven crack, we can chow. Three dots. Okay, now we're going to discard west. That has no value for us. And we have two potential chows with our cracks. We can do a two, three, four chow and a seven, eight, nine. We're gonna either need to draw it or claim the discard from the player on our left. If the green dragon goes down though, I will take mm -hmm. that. Let's see what happens, because that will help us get a fawn. Half flesh is three fawn. Dragon pung is one. So right now, if we make this hand, it'll be four fawn. As it stands, the green dragon could even be our pair. Three dots. So let's get rid of the six. Bam. Six bamboo. This south is not out yet. Eight bamboo. If we pair up in pung, that could even give us score. That is our seat. East wind. We're in south seat. Five characters. Okay, let's get rid of the south. Seven. If we pair up that dragon, we could play three little dragons. Seven Maybe eight even eight. three great scholars. That's a limit hand. Pungs of all three dragons. That is a sweet hand. Three characters. We're going to chow. Chow. Okay, let's let it go and try to win with half Five flesh. Dragon. We're ready to win on a seven Two crack. characters. There's one out, and this will be half flesh dragon pump. There's one nine crack out, no eight cracks nine are out. Characters. We do not have mahjong. Do not be tempted to click that. You gotta know your tile. Nine Our tile is seven crack, not a four dot. If we had clicked nine that four, dots. that mahjong prompt, we would have had a bad mahjong. Nine dots. So we have four sets. Eight characters. Nope, that is not Mahjong. We need seven Eight crack. Dots. Seven crack to win. Pung. 
Eight bamboos. The player to my right has two pungs in one suit. Three bamboos. They could be playing all pung or they could one be in dragon. dots. Oh, look. We got that green dragon. There's two nine cracks out. Nine so we'll throw that. We're ready to win on an eight crack. Three and we characters. Three characters. No, that's not us. We need an eight crack. There's one out. And we have two three dragon characters. pungs. Five characters. That is not Mahjong. South wind. We need an eight crack. Three bamboos. Sneaky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It is sneaky. They test you. There it is. Mahjong. This is a nice one. So we have two dragon punks and a half flush. And no flowers. Six fawn. That is a very nice hand. All right. I hope that gives you an idea of what it's like to play Mahjong. At least Hong Kong Mahjong. Taylor, do you have any questions about it? Let's go again. Four sets in a pair. And again, right now we're playing at an eight point minimum, so you gotta have three fawn. I hope this guy, Van Thee, Van Thee, I hope he realizes he's gotta have three fawn. Oh, he left. He just left. Okay, it looks like Jenra is ranking up. She's got a green belt with a gold stripe or a brown stripe. Green belt with a brown stripe. She's ahead of me. I just have a green belt. My goal is to have a black belt in every version. That's my goal. It's going to take some time. And incidentally, the belts do not necessarily indicate your skill. Everybody starts with a white belt. And when you win, you rank, you rank up. You, you gather score or points. And then when you hit a certain threshold, you get a new belt color. You graduate. Nine White belt characters. with a green stripe. North wind. Okay, let me see here. I'll sort. Let's see what our major suit is. We have no pairs. Let's get rid of this these bands. So it starts out with a white belt. The next belt is green, then brown, and then black. So as you rank up, you add stripes for the next belt. So white belt with a green stripe, Chow. white belt with two green Three stripes, dragons. and then you get a, a green belt and so on. One character. One character. So, okay, we have more cracks than we do anything else. We're gonna get rid of the lesser suits. And the whole reason we have to do that is because we've got to get to three fawn or eight points and half flush or all pung is the best way to get there unless you have lots of valued honors in this case we're in west seat okay that might help us eventually let's get rid of the dots since we have more cracks than we do dots the dragon if we pair up and pung can bring value there's a white dragon out so probably that could have been a good discard but you never know you could pair up in time south there are two south out now let's get rid of the south, south we have three pair now even though it's a different suit we could potentially change to all north pung bamboo. instead of a half flush since we have three pair here south we need two more pair though so we're a little light with our multiples our pairs any pair is a potential pung there's a seven out so we'll discard seven that done. There are no Wests out, and that is our seat. All these are valued honors. Probably the white dragon might be the next good one to go because there's one out. Okay, we're not going to chow because we have a pair of ones that we can leverage. We're going to let it go, and we're going to pong. Okay, now we have a seven crack. Let's get rid of the white dragon. I really should have gotten rid of these dots here. The two dot would have been a, a good discard. We still could have maybe paired up that white dragon. White dragon. And now look, we got two a two. Dots. But we have now one, two, three pair and a pung. So we're gonna try to play all pung. Eight bamboo. And it's okay to mix suits with all pung because White that is dragon. three fawn, which equates to eight points. Seven characters. We do not need to Kong necessarily. I'm gonna let it go. 
So none of these are out. Let's get rid of the four dot. Three bamboos. In Hong Kong Mahjong, you don't get value for a Kong. It just reveals information. I'd rather stay concealed. If you, okay, let's pong. And then let's discard West. If you play live in a group, many times they'll have a house rule where a Kong gets an immediate payout. If you play for money, maybe a quarter or something like that. That's typical. Online though, you don't get value. We're gonna get rid of the dragon. Red dragon. We have all the blocks we need. We can always claim a discard for our pair. The player across from us is playing half flush. East wind. The south is safe. I'm gonna get rid of this bam, I think. Seven bamboo. They're in a, they're playing half flush with bam, so I wanna try to get rid Two of bams bamboos. at the moment. This south is a safe discard, so Three I'm gonna bamboos. hold it. We'll get rid of that later. Four bamboos. Okay, let's get rid of nine dot. Nine dots. And we have another pung. We have two concealed pungs. Two you don't get anything special for concealed pungs West if you have one already out. If you do fully concealed, you can get value for that. Oh, six bam, there's one out. Let's get rid of the south at the moment. I'm a little nervous about the six. There are two Seven out, wind. but they could be waiting on a pair with a six. Six okay, now they threw a six, so I know my six is safe. So if you watch your the discards from people, you can you can figure out what is safe. And with Hong Kong Mahjong, they don't have um, ordered or uh, each player does not have a separate discard pile, so you can't really tell what they've discarded in the past. We're gonna discard nine dot. There are no one bams out. They could have a one bam. East wind. We are ready to pung the nine and be ready on a five crack. Three dots. This one bam is going to be a very risky discard. For all I know, they could be waiting on a north or an east because they're still, there are only two of each. Okay, so that was nice. Hmm. They discarded a one bam, so this is now a safe tile. Nine bamboos. Oh, oh, the nine bam. Okay, we got a winner. Half flesh. Dragon Pungs. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's go again. So the thing with playing at an eight point minimum table is that you have time to build your hand and go for score. And that can help you rank up with your belt because you gather more score. I believe that is how it works. With chicken hands, you're going to gather score or points at a slower pace. So that's your choice. For me, I prefer to play at an eight point table just because of my background. I play uh, other versions of Mahjong and just by playing those versions, I have experience where there are requirements for declaring a winning hand. And usually that means that you have to have some value. So that's just my tendency to play that way. And you know, I'm a creature of habit and a lot of people are. So if you play at an eight point table, you, you have time to get score, get value for your hand. So it really just depends on, on what your goals are. If you're just learning the game, playing at a chicken hand table is a great way to start. When you're ready to start ranking up, if you want to achieve a higher belt color, then you might want to play at a, a table where there's, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is rough. Okay, let's get rid of dots. Nine. We have more cracks than we do anything. We only have one pair. This is a rough start right here. North wind. We're an underdog at the moment. We have two potential chows, a potential chow and a potential Pung. Nine We're in South Seat. We have two flowers that are not our own. Five dots. Now we have more cracks than we do anything else. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mary. Thank you for the reminder, mm -hmm. Mary. I, I have Bamboo. met so many people, I get mixed up. So, Six yes, dots. thank you for that reminder. Three dots. So I think half flush with cracks is gonna be the way to go. This red dragon, 
is not going to help us, we'll discard that. So we have two four, number four flowers. So those are not going to help us with score. You, you only get score for your flowers if they match your seat. We're in south seat, so we would need number two flower. Three dots. Number two flower. And I don't know. One flower to my right. I can't see the other flowers over there. So another thing I wanted to share about flowers is we have the two of the four, number four flowers, but that just means that north will not be able to count on score for those flowers because we have them. There's only two flowers for each seed. We have a nice collection here of cracks, and we do have chow potential with the one, two. We have chow potential with the two, four. We have pung potential with the five. And then we have a seven, eight, nine chow. Four we could break those up a little differently if we want two to, dots. depending on what comes in and what goes down. If we can collect Five. some honors, we might be able to go for a half flesh. Two characters. I do not want to pung that. I want to save those for chows. We're going to wait on and, and try to chow because that would have left an isolated one. Eight bamboos. We could use the twos as two separate potential chows. There's a west, and there's only there are none out. So let's keep the west. Nine bamboo. If we pair up in pun, we could play half flush with that. I have to try to remember everybody's avatar name and their real life Nine name. Bamboos. It's kind of hard to remember sometimes. So friendly reminders are appreciated. Nine. Okay, let's get rid of the seven, seven bam. Bamboo. We paired up a bam, and we only we have three pair. If we pair up again, we can switch to all pung and leverage the five bam. So we're, we're going to wait and see what we get and maybe discard hmm. this one bam. East wind. See what happens. There's still no west out. Nine dots. Oh, we don't need an eight dot at all. Eight and the player to my right is is playing dots. One dot. Six dots. Oh, two cents. That's Nine cute. Dots. Okay, eight bam. It's out. Eight bamboo. Okay, what's uh, Long Island? What's the meaning of two cents? Oh, like um, seven dots. Where you say, I'll Four give you my two cents, kind of like my thoughts. Is that what that is? Green dragon. Seven bam is out. We can throw that. Seven bamboos. You could have done two cents with One a number. Eight bamboos. Oh, it's about what Two it's worth. <laughs> All the nines are safe. Nine bamboos. I think you're worth more than two cents. I saw somebody's avatar name was a million. M I L L I O N million. Seven dots. Five dots. So okay, cracks. We have cracks. At this point, I'm thinking that we can sacrifice the fives. We have two chows, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That leaves an isolated five. We can slice and dice this. Three. One, two, three, four, five blocks. Six. Bamboo. We still need a pair. No Wests are out yet. That's going to be a risky discard. At this point, there are two five bams. Bamboos. Those are going to be good discards. Five dots. That should be safe. It was recently two discarded. Bamboos. We have only one, two, three more picks, and we have really three discards. We may not be able to win this one. Uh-oh, they're not going to be able to win. Not with that hand. They're playing a chicken hand. Do you see over here two, three, four, and bams? Two characters. Okay, we're not going to take that. No, we'll pung. Pung. Okay, five bam. Five bam I don't know. I may regret that. Two bits. Okay, they are not going to be able to win. That is a chicken hand. Four, three five, six, two, three, four bams, and a pung of two dots. dots. So that's going to be rough. I hope they don't try to click Mahjong. Six dots. That will be painful. 
There are two one dots out. That'll be a safe discard. And we did get a three, three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. We're short. Okay, they are not going to be able to win. And we're done. Oh, somebody won on the last tile. Oh, and they're in cracks. Five, fa five, fawn. Very nice. That was a good hand. Okay. So they played half flush dragon pung, and they're in north seat. So their pung of west didn't give them value, but it helped them get to a half flush. Does anybody have any questions about Hong Kong Mahjong? And how's my sound? I know sometimes I, I get loud and I get maybe too close to the mic. Okay, Mary, Mary's with us. Thank you for joining the table, Mary. Oh, I have such a terrible memory. It's embarrassing. So please don't take it personally if I forget your name. Oh, yeah, it's not good. Um, thought you looked familiar, Mary. Okay, so we need one player. And we're gonna go till 8.30, 7 to 8.30. One and a half hour live streams for now. It seems like that's the most popular vote is to do one and a half hours as opposed to two. Thank you, Long Island. That's encouraging that I'm not the only one with a terrible memory like that. I, I try to encourage myself by saying that I only remember what's critically important at the moment. People are important to me, but at the moment, whatever is the most important, that's what's at the front of my mind. Okay, here we go. Plett has joined the table. And Plett is Peggy. That I remember because I met her in person. Okay, here we go. This is going to be another long haul. We have one pair in mixed suits. We have more BAMs by one tile than any other suit. So that's where we're going to focus. For now, we'll start by discarding None the one bamboo. crack. The lesser suit. North okay, let's see here. Hi, Marsha. Welcome to the live stream. It's good to see you here. Oh, that would be great to have you at the table, Marsha. Okay, so let's see. Laura B. says that she's collecting a whole bunch of questions, which you will send at the end uh, on Facebook. Okay, that's great. That's a great place for questions. Questions are good and welcomed. So we're going to focus on BAMs Easy. and honors, wins and dragons, Eight half flush, any combination of wins and dragons will do if we pair up and pump or just pair up. You always have to have a pair in here somewhere. And there is a special hand called seven unique pair. For Hong Kong Mahjong, they have to be unique. In some versions, you can have a Kong, which can break into two pairs. But for Hong Kong Marshall, they have to be unique. Eight dots. Seven unique pair, and oh. that's four fawn, if in mixed suits. Three bamboos. Okay, there's a dragon. It's a single, but we're going to keep it because it's going to help us get to a half flush. One dot. And again, a half flush. I should have thrown the eight dot. It's already out in a pong here to my left. So West these single honors are not going to be helpful unless we pair up. There are two north south, so that'll be a good discard also. We can even hold that for a safe discard later and just get rid of these offsuit tiles. Two dots. Unique up on it. Yes, I've heard that joke when I was a little kid. <laughs> How do you keep a unique rabbit? Unique up on him. Ciao. Thanks for the reminder. Because I didn't get it when I was little. South wind. Seven dots. So we're collecting bams. Eight, Eight bam. Let's chow. We're going to chow. Chow. Because that leaves a pong. Two characters. We want to try to maybe One draw in wind. nines, sixes, and sevens. If we can maybe turn Nine this into dots. another chow. 
five characters. We will col oh Wests are already out. There's only four of every tile. So the there were three Wests out. One we have no use for it. Six dots. <laughs> Nine Ooh, Long Island, thank you. <laughs> That's funny. So it goes, it's it's a um, buy one, get one free joke. How do you catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on it. How do you catch a tame rabbit? Tame way. Buy one, get one free. Okay, we have a two, three potential chow now. And we have a pair of white dragons. That is a fawn all by itself. Dragons are valuable in Hong Kong Mahjong. Really, any Asian version, the dragons are of value, except in a way for Filipino Mahjong. With, with uh, Filipino Mahjong, we're going to pung. Okay, there are two north out. We're going to discard that. We need a pair. We can chow the one, the two, three, and then be left waiting on a pair on one of these dragons, which I'd rather not. Uh, one secret that I've been told, which I share free, oh, we could have had a good pair there. Bummer. One secret that I was told, I don't know if it's a secret, but it was a, a strategy. It, from a, a friend that I met uh, many years ago, and she's the one who taught me how to play Hong Kong Mahjong. Shout out to Addie if she ever watches my videos. She said that if you are wait, waiting on a pair, try to make it a number tile as opposed to an honor. Because in, in a point minimum table, people typically hold honors for value. And you may never complete your pair because they're holding those honor tiles. The red dragon will be a good discard. There are two out now. Unless we pair up, that could be our pair, maybe. There are two souths out. Since we have everything we need, let's get rid of the green dragon now. Green dragon. That is a risky discard right now. One dot. One character. Oh, so I was talking about Filipino Mahjong. The winds and dragons in Filipino Mahjong are, are played as flowers. So if you collect, I believe it's 13 green winds dragon. and dragons. You get an automatic payout. Green you kind of, you kind of you turn them in for score or cash. Green dragon. Okay, three are out. That's a safe discard. East wind. Six dots. We have two, uh, two Green more dots. picks. Two more picks. Maybe one. One Nine more pick. Bamboo. We have two discards. This should be safe. Nine dots. We won't, we won't win on this one. We have too many discards at the moment. Three bamboos. Okay, Peg. Good to see you here, though. Anybody else having resolution issues on the live stream? Okay, we need a safe discard. Three crack. There's one out. Two souths are out. We'll throw the south. South wind. No jokers. That's right, Jingles. No jokers in Hong Kong Mahjong. Whoa, full flush. I'm glad I didn't throw that three crack. You see this player over here on my right? They have a full flush. That's six fawn. Full flush. That is a pretty hand. Okay, here we go. Yellow Mountain, eight point minimum. Uh oh. Gianjo wants me to play Richie Mahjong. No, competition rules. Okay, decline. I've been really focusing on MCR, that's Mahjong competition rules. And I am learning a lot. That, I think, from what I have experienced, is a chow game. It seems like the chows are the quickest way to win with MCR and probably even Hong Kong Mahjong too. Because they're, they basically have the same foundation as far as the game. 
So chows, really, they're, they're much more flexible than pungs because you can play off either side to complete it. Okay, we have mixed suits again, which is common. We need to get rid of the lesser suit here. Let's get rid of the six. Six does. Wins win. So chows typically are the quicker way to win. It's just a matter of the point minimum at the table. If you're playing at a zero point table, you, you can pung or chow with any combination. It doesn't matter. But when you're playing at a minimum, if you chow, you need to be in a half flush. Otherwise, you will probably not be able to win at all. Because there's very, very low value with chows. Half flush is three fawn, even if you chow. So that's why half flush is a good go-to. We are not going to chow. We have one more ban than we do cracks, so I'm not going to take that. We're going to focus on BAMs. Oh, excellent, Peg. Thank you. I'm glad it, it worked out. Oh, right-click and refresh on YouTube on your YouTube uh, gray space and see if that helps. Six characters. So we're going to gather BAMs. Okay, now we Two paired up. Let's keep an eye on pairs at the moment. Two we have an equal number of BAMs and cracks. The player to my left is Pung in bamboo. dots at the moment. Pung. Let's go ahead and pung. Pung. Okay, we'll try maybe half flat or, or all pung. Let's get rid of the two, two crack. Characters. We could still maybe play half three flush cracks. with bams. We'd have to sacrifice pung. the three crack though. I'm hoping we can pair up and play all pung though. Six bamboos. Okay, six bam. That's a good chow tile. So let's get rid of the eight crack. We may end up sacrificing the pair of three dots to go for a half flush. And the reason for that is because we have only one pair to leverage for all pung. All these other tiles are singles, and which basically make for good chow tiles. Three in a sequence, single tiles. Okay, there's a dragon. We'll get rid of the four. Four characters. None of these tiles are out, so people are holding honor tiles for value. Any dragon pung is worth a fawn. The wind of the round is east round, and our, each of our seat wind can bring a fawn to the hand. The challenge with this is you don't want to hold on to those for too long, because later in the game, if you discard one, you could throw into a winning hand. So you don't want to hold on to those for long. Three bamboos. We want BAMs. There's a pair now. That's good. Pair, chow potential. Let's get rid of South. That's not our seat. That would not bring value if we end up playing a Pung Hand and the player across from us had a pair waiting. Five characters. We don't need a one crack. Right now we have two pair that we could Pung, but we're short two pair for all Pung. You need four pungs and a pair, so we're behind the times at the moment. We're kind of an underdog at this, this particular Six game. Dots. The player to my left has what's called gaojum, three exposures, three pungs in one suit, or nine tiles showing, nine showing. That's what gaojum means. Any dot is going to be a risky discard. In this case, they were not playing all, all one suit. They were one away, though. Okay, here we have a four fawn hand, half flush. So you can see that they mix some wins. Uh, they have a pung and a pair, and that's totally fine. That's a very nice hand, half flush. Very, very nice. And uh, Mary was working on a half flush also. That would have been a really nice scoring hand if she would, was able to pair up and pung. All pung, half flush, that'd be nine points nine fawn actually and the max the limit for hong kong mahjong is 10 10 points or 10 fawn excuse me 10 fawn and then it converts to points so she was really working on a nice big hand okay here we go we got players all green belts everybody knows what they're doing hopefully eight point minimum okay let's see i'm going to catch up on chat 
Uh, in American Mahjong, when it's my turn and I could exchange two jokers, can I exchange two at once? Yes. On your turn, you can do any amount of moves, whether it is exchanging a joker or, um, well, that would be the only move. You make an exposure, for example, and then exchange. You can do that with even multiple players. Uh, so here we have mixed suits. We have only one pair. We have one flower. We're in East seat, so our flower is in number two. We won't get value there. Let's get rid of the lesser suit, which is the cracks. We're going to hold bams primarily, and we'll see what happens with these dots. All chow, which would be a great hand here if we were playing at a zero point table. But here, uh, all chow would be only one point or one fawn, and that would not be enough. So that's why I'm not playing all chow. That's only one fawn. And we have a non value flower. We need number one flower. Two there are none out at the moment. So if we get flowers, we can get score there. Now we have an equal number of dots and bams, six, six each. Characters. We have chow potential. Eight characters. We have chow potential in both, but I think the chow potential with dots is better, even though we have a pair of white of uh, one bams. One character. We really only have two potential chows with the bams, but we have three potential chows with our dots. So I'm going to discard BAMs, Nine and we're going to focus on dots, and we're going to try to chow. We have a 2-3 potential, 4-5 potential, and 7-9. That's three blocks. We need to pair up these honors or draw more dots. East wind. There's a, there's a wind. Bamboo. No souths are out. We're in east seat. There's one east Eight out. Bamboos. That may be a good discard. Eight bamboos. Nine dots. Okay, we're going to chow. Pung. Oh, okay, there's an example of a chow yeah. and a pung on the same tile. Pung takes precedence. So okay. I got robbed. But we just picked a dot, Bamboo. so we're okay. We'll, we'll recover. Oh. We still have one, two, three potential chows in here. We have a two, three, four chow, and then two potential chows, oh, actually. We can slice and dice that. That's the nice thing about playing chows. You, you can really slice and dice and make it work. East wind. There's a pair of south. There are none out. We can pung that. So we're looking good for half flush at the moment. We just need to chow and pung. Any combination of winds and dragons with one suit, that is a half flush. And that is three fawn. We're going to sacrifice the one bams. Five dots. Okay, we're going to chow. Let's we'll see, three, four, no, you know what? We're not, because it would break a chow and leave an isolated tile. We would have lost out anyway because somebody punged, and they would have gotten it anyway. Seven but if we did a chow, that would have left an isolated two. Now here, we can chow, and it will, not, it will leave us with some good tiles. Let's go ahead and five, six, seven yeah. chow. We'll get rid of one the bamboo. one bam. I wonder if a six, seven, eight might have been better. That's okay. We have a two, three, four, and a potential child with seven, eight. Three dots. We can maybe pung the south and be ready to win on Pung. a white dragon. There are none out. I'd rather be waiting on a dot. Let's see if we can draw in another dot. We'll get rid of the bam bamboo. since nobody wanted it. And there's a three crack out. So that should be safe. We'll two see. Dots. We'll see if we can draw in more dots and expand Seven this dots. into three potential chows or pair up. We still need a pair. Okay, there is a red dragon. None are out. That could bring value. I don't want to hold on to those for too long, though, because other people may be holding those for value. Okay, there's another pung. I'm thinking we have one, two, three. All we need in here is a pair. I'm going to get rid of these dragons now. Six dots. Okay, there's a chow. Chow. Let's get rid of the uh, white dragon. Six one half dozen the other. Nobody wanted it. So that was Seven a good dollars. discard. The east is a safe tile. We're going to get rid of the east next. We're one away from ready on a red dragon, maybe. 
the east, there's nothing we can do with. That is a safe discard. Four characters. Ooh, we got a one dot. Mm -hmm. That's nice. We have a one, two, three, or two potential chows in a pair. So we have options. Five bamboos. This red dragon is going next. We're going to have to hold our breath. I'm going to get rid of it now. Red hold your breath. Hold your breath. Pung. Pung is better than Mahjong at the moment. So I'm happy with that. And now they have what's called a naked weight. This is when you're sitting there with one tile ready to win. Everybody knows, well, we don't know what they need actually. We'll, we'll chow with a one, two, three and discard four bam. We're ready to win on a two dot or a five dot for a half flesh, which is three fawn. Nine bamboo. Ready to win on a side weight. Very efficient, three, four. We can win on a two dot or a five dot. No, 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 five dots are out. We need a two dot to win. Oh, bummer, they're all out. This is not Mahjong. The two dots are all out. We're gonna discard four dot. Now we're ready to win on a double weight, three dot or south. There are two three dots out, so the south has gotta be it. There are none out. Six bamboos. Okay. Red dragon. Okay, that is not Mahjong. Do not be tempted to click that Six Mahjong characters. prompt. We're waiting on a south, and that is going to be a really risky discard for anybody because there are none out. Somebody's probably holding a pair like me, and it may be a stalemate. Two characters. We do not need Four that. Characters. White dragon. We need a south. We have one more pick. I'm going to throw the three dot if we don't pick a south. White dragon. Four dot. Nobody wanted it. Three dot. Either way, three dot we're going to throw. There they are, souths. Pair of souths. They were holding it for half flesh potential there. So we had a draw. Okay, here we go. We'll play again. Do y'all want to play at a chicken hand table or should we continue at a, a three fawn minimum? I'm trying to actually practice at chicken hand tables because my, my tendency is to stack. Continue. Okay, Peg. All right, now we actually have a fighting start here. We have single honors, but a pair of west. That is our seat. We're going to go for a half flush with bams because that's what we have the most of. We'll get rid of the nine dot first, but I want to point something out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tiles to 13 orphans. We're going to we're going to see if we could play 13 orphans here. Let's see. Okay, let me show you 13 orphans. This is a limit hand, 10 fawn, one of each one and nine, one of each wind and dragon, and any tile paired. Okay, let's get rid of five bam. We paired up a one. You need one of each wind and dragon. We're, we're 10 tiles to 13 orphans. And I've been told that's a good guideline. If you have 10 tiles to that hand, go for it. So we're gonna collect, we're three away from one of the biggest hands on the card. So we'll keep our, our, our eye on the discards. We wanna keep an eye on white dragons, north and east, and we also need a one dot. Okay, we do not need that. So we're playing 13 orphans. In Wright Patterson, this hand is called Angels. This is my all time favorite hand. It's actually on the bottom of the player reference right here. 13 orphans it is very very exciting and it is pretty rare if you can get it we're three away from 13 orphans so we need east south west north we need an east and a north we need a white dragon and a one dot seven characters nine ma'am okay now we're pairing up we're gonna we're gonna abandon 13 orphans and go for all pong nine dots it was fun while it lasted, but you got to know when to fold them, know when to hold them. Four bamboos. Fun while it lasted. 
We have four pair. Those could all be pungs. All pungs, three fawn. Dragon. Six characters. Three bamboos. Now I'm going to feel real bad if I draw one dot. Four characters. One dot east and north. Six characters. Four bamboos. So we're just waiting to pung. Two dots. The nine bams are going to be our pair. The other tiles we can pung. White dragon. That's the second white dragon out, incidentally. Nine crack. Let's just get rid of the seven bam. Seven bamboos. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still tempted to play 13 orphans, but we got rid of the nine. They're all out, actually, so Eight yeah, bamboos. we're going to let that go. Four bamboos. Okay, three dot, nine crack. They're both out. They're all out. Let's get rid of nine crack. Nine okay, it will not. In, uh, Long Island says it will not install Green on the bamboos. machine. I've tried a couple times. Double click the executable, Seven. and it doesn't do a thing. Hmm. Five bamboos. Oh, seven bam! I should have kept bamboos. that. I knew I should have kept that tile. Seven dots. All right, that's okay. We can still pung. All Eight. we need in here is a pair. Four bamboos. There are two out of four dots. We'll get rid of that. There's a three dot out, so that'll be a good discard. No, none of the dragons are out. People are holding them for score. The south will be a good discard. Oh, someone got Mahjong. We have a half flesh. Half flesh and wind of the round. Six fawn, very nice. That is a, a pretty hand. Now here you can see that they have a mixture of chalice and, and a pung, or end pungs with the winds. That's okay when you have a half flush because a half flush is three fawn. And they had valued honors, so that was a good hand. All right, here we go. All right, we have more BAMs by one tile. We have two pair with the dots. That's where our pair is. I think we should start by discarding cracks. We do have a pair of East. That is the wind of the round, Seven so we can get value for that. We're in West Seat, and we have a number two flower, so that flower is not going to give us any Eight value. Characters. There's a North. Let's get rid of the nine. nine characters. And we'll get rid of the eight crack next. So at the moment we have four dots. One Character. of these is a pair. And then we have child potential with BAMs. Characters. So we could take it either way. Three characters. If we pair up, I would probably push all Pung in mixed suits. Three characters. If one of these go down, we're going to take it and make it work. Two characters. Five dots. Okay, there's a three dot. Eight we have characters. a potential chow in here now. I'm thinking that the bams can go unless we pair up. Eight bamboos. Four bam will be a good discard next. Nine dots. There's an east. We have a concealed pong. And again, there's no value for a Kong in Hong Kong Mahjong. You do get a replacement Four tile, bamboos. so some people feel that that is an extra pick. If an east goes down, I suppose we could Eight Kong. Bamboos. There's a dot. We'll get rid of a seven. Seven bamboos. So now we have a chow, one, two, three. Or we have a one, two potential chow and a three, Eight five bamboos. potential chow. Potential pung with the one six. Bamboos. And we have a concealed pung with the east. That's one, two, three, four blocks. And the north would be the seven pair. Dots. So we are good to go. Now with that seven dot, that would leave an isolated tile, so I'm going to pass. In this case, it worked out because we drew a dot, and we now have more potential chows. We have a 1, 2, 3 chow and two potential chows with the 5, 6, and the 6, 8. The 5, 6 is a side weight. The 6, 8 is a closed weight. That's going to be rough. Okay, now, let's see. 
I am not going to take that because that would leave two isolated tiles, the five and the eight. And that again is a good dis a decision because now we have a three dot. Bamboos. So we have a one, two, three potential chow, Super. three, five potential chow, or one five, bamboo. six potential chow, and a six, eight potential. So the one bam can go. We've got lots of potential with dots. I don't think one I would bamboo. pong. I think I would wait to maybe chow in here. It, it's a little kludgy at the moment. It, any chow is going to leave an isolated tile, but we still need a pair in here. We're in west seat, so the north and south will not bring us any value. Let's go ahead and discard south. south wind. The green dragon, none are out. That could bring value. Four bamboos. Chow. Okay, player to my left is in bams. Usually if you see a chow, they're going to be in that suit. West that west. means they're going to discard dots if they get them. Four so that's, that's good. Six bamboos. Now, there is one exception one if they have lots of valued honors. The chows won't matter. Four characters. Two characters. The other players, we do not see One tiles three. out. There are not very many dots. I think everybody's in dots. Six there are only three. one, two, three, four, five, six dots out. I think everybody's in dots. Five bamboos. I'm glad I'm not sitting to the left of, of this player here. Seven bamboos. Any bam is going to be a risky discard. Ciao. There, there's the chow. North wind. I'm going to discard that six. six bamboos. This Seven north bamboos. will be a good discard, maybe next. I want to leave chow White potential character. here. White dragon. Man, eight crack. We can get rid of there are three eight out. Characters. I think these other two players are in dots. Seven characters. Nine bamboos. Oh, eight bam. There's one out and there's one in a chow. That should be safe. Eight bamboos. Unless that's their pair win. Oof. They have two Seven chows bamboos. out in bams. When they have three exposures with bams, that is Gao Zheng. That's a warning. In a home game, if you discard to a player with a winning hand and they have three exposures in, in one suit and they happen to be all in that suit, you pay for the table. That's the penalty for Gao Zheng. And everybody should be aware of the exposures. Okay, two bam, there are two out, that should be safe. And I don't know how to spell Gao Zheng. I've looked it up and I can't find it. It means nine showing. And I've tried to use a translator to figure it out, and I can't find it. And I lost contact with Addy, so I can't confirm. I think Gao is G-O-W and Zheng, I would think, is J-U-N-G, Gao Zheng. Okay, so they were waiting on a south. This is a wall game, draw. Everybody was in dots. So let's go again. We should be able to play one more game at least. So you want to look at the discards and, and keep an eye on that. In that case, everybody was playing dots. I don't think we had time to really switch out. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get a nice start here. Looks like we have lots of dots. I say we go for half flesh with dots. We have single honors. That's the weakness. Two characters. So let's get rid of those lesser suits and hold dots. We have two potential pungs and a potential chow, and then single honors. They look pretty, but unless we pair up, they're not going to help us. Not when you have number tiles two through eight. Seven characters. There's a pair. We're in west seat. That's our seat. That's going to help us get value. Since we're in, there we go, pung. Pung of your seat is a fawn. 
six bamboo. So we're going to play half flush and our uh, pung seat wind. Nine done. And we're in west seat. We have a number four flower. There's no value there. So we will have a four fawn hand at the moment. Three characters. There's a single Three dragon. Characters. Red dragon. We need to pair up. These single honors look really nice, but as singles, they're not going to help. Seven characters. We could pung, pung, and chow. I would like to get more dots. Because I'd rather wait on a dot for my win. Nine characters. There's a dot. We have a pung in there. So neither of these will bring value. South wind. Pung. We could pung the one. We have a pung. Potential chow with a 7-8. And then the dragons we need to pair up or this north. Two characters. Okay, there's a five dot. There's some potential there for a chow or a pair. There are two five dots out though. Maybe the five seven could be our chow and then the eight could be our pair. There's a chow. We'll take it and discard the five dot. Let's see if we could pung the one and be ready on a dragon. It's okay to have a dragon pair. Half flush, any combination will do. One character. So Eight we're looking for dots. Three. If we get another dot, we could maybe Seven dots. pung the one and be waiting on a, a, a number tile, which is better. Cool. There are no, let's see, there are no three dots three out. Characters. That will be a good tile, or maybe an eight dot will Four be a good dots. tile. Eight dot or three Eight dot will be a really three. nice tile to draw if we can, unless unless we can pair up one of these dragons. Four but the dragons, people are probably holding them for value. That's why you don't want to wait on a pair Two. with your dragon, because you may never get it. One bamboo. If if Four. other people have a pair of dragons, they're going to wait to pung and get value. Eight dot. Okay, one bam we'll get rid of. One bamboo. Four characters. There are no one dots out yet. Two bamboos. I, I think I want to get rid of a dragon. Nine Ooh. characters. Seven crack, no. Seven Two characters. were out. Four dots. We can still maybe do better with a three dot. Three or, yeah, three dot is really our only, only fallback at the moment Four for half flesh. Dots. Unless we pair up one of these dragons. But because they're not out, people are holding them. Unless, I mean, they could be in the wall, I suppose. There's the first three dot. There's the second one. Okay, now we really are kind of we're paint we're kind of into a uh, in a oh there's a nine okay now let's get rid of red dragon hold your breath red hold your breath someone's gonna pung there it is Six we have a nine dot there's there are two out so this is gonna be risky there are two nine dots out there's only Ten. one left green dragon okay pung. Ooh, okay there's a pung this is now a safe tile. Okay, safe discard here. We need that nine dot or a one dot. Oh, they got it. So valued honor, that's gonna be a nice hand. Half flesh, valued honors, all pung. That's a big, that's a nice hand, five fawn. Okay, we'll play one more game. Here we go. One more game. Okay. Uh, Jingles, I don't know what what you typed there. That looks like a foreign language or something. All right, one more game. Let's see if we can end on a high note. Here we go. Mary's at the table. Okay, we have three pair. It's best to have four pair to play all pung 
but I think that's the mm -hmm. best way to go because we have mixed suits and our pairs are in two different suits. So we're going to try for all pung. Eight. <laughs> pung. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> two characters. You has a nine. I don't know. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna pung. We're ready to pung. Eight crack. Okay, we're gonna get rid of one dot. When you're playing all pung, you wanna look at what is out and discard what's been thrown. The one dot was thrown. North has been thrown. That'll be a good discard next. Because there's only four of every tile. So we're gonna discard north and keep the one. We have a pung now in our hand. We have two potential pungs. All pung in mixed suit is three, three fawn. Let's get rid of eight dot. Eight dots. Pardon me. Seven dots. Uh, you had you had the other nine dot in a chow displayed. Four characters. Oh, I thought the nine dots were to my left. I don't remember now. Okay, one crack. We got a one crack. We have a nice. <laughs> I might have to sacrifice some. Um, Two dots. I might have to sacrifice this pung. Five dots. We have one, two. Pung. We have a potential chow and a potential pung. One, two, three, four. If we can Six get dots. at least one more crack, I would sacrifice those one bams Seven for dots. half flesh. Seven, eight, nine, potential chow. Seven, eight, nine. That would leave an isolated nine. I'm not going to take it. Okay, let's get rid of the nine. Nine dots. Eight bamboos. Oh, I had a nine dot in a chow. You had a nine Eight dot. Bamboos. Okay, I don't... All right. I don't Four. remember what happened there. Okay, we got a five crack now. Let's get rid of the two. Bam. Two bamboos. So two we're going to block this out. We have a one-two potential chow. We have a five, six potential chow, seven, eight potential chow, and a pair of nines. We have everything we need for a half flesh. It's going to take time to chow, though. We only have three pair. If we pair up one more time, we can go for all pung. But if we do not, I may need to sacrifice these ones. Oh, doesn't matter. Somebody won all pung. All pung and mixed suit, which is just fine. Very nice. Three fawn. When you mix pungs in different suits, it's just fine. That's three fawn. Let's try to play another game. Hong Kong Mahjong is a very quick. Typically, you, a game could be five, seven, ten minutes, depending on your point minimum. Okay, I don't remember what was out two hands ago, I'm afraid. Um, but... I don't remember, I was waiting on a nine and we're two out. I thought there was a pung of nine dots out. I don't know. Okay, so we're just waiting for two more players here. Hopefully we'll have somebody join us. But if you're new to the game, I hope that you got an understanding of how Hong Kong Mahjong works. It's really the best game to learn if you're brand new to Mahjong. It's a nice way to get to know the tiles and understand the process of a game with planning your hand and picking and discarding, making decisions. Hong Kong Mahjong is a great way to start. I had the other nine dot in a child displayed. Okay. And I had one in my hand. And then were there two discarded or something? I don't know. I don't recall. But somebody won, so it ended the game. We're just waiting for players at the moment. Okay, there's one. We just need one more player. And this will be the last game. 
Last game of the live stream. Here we go. Let's hope for half flesh with our dealt tiles or all pung. Lots of pairs. Lots of pairs or one suit. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we have one, mixed suits. Mixed suits and one pair. <laughs> one single honor. We have more we have more bams than we do anything, so let's pung. Hmm. Let's hold the north and start getting rid of the lesser tiles. Seven dots. This is gonna be a long road to haul. Eight bamboos. Okay, I wanna get rid of my dots right away because the player to my right just put out a chow. So I want to get rid of these dots right now. Nine dots. Okay, we have two players in dots. We'll chow. Chow. We'll discard one dot. One. Okay, we have a potential pung, and then we have nothing. So we need to draw. We need honors and bams. The player to my right. One character. And the play, yeah, the player to my right is discarding bams at the moment. There's a bam. We got a bam. That's good. We'll get rid of the eight, eight crack. Characters. So we just want to collect. Collect bams bam and bam. winds and dragons for half flesh. Any combination will do. Let the hoarding begin. We're going to let that go. Seven characters. Two bamboos. Even though there's a chow there, Two that would destroy our hand. We would only have one fawn. No, we do not want that. We need bams. Four I need to get rid of this dot, though, because the player to my right Four is going to be in dots. I'm surprised that they threw a north, because that could help them get to a half flesh, unless they're playing a full flesh, in which case I want to get rid of dots hmm. immediately. Okay, now this is a good thing. We've got dots in everybody's exposures but mine. Now, they could be playing all pwn, the, the player across from me and on my left. They could be in mixed suits. There's an honor. We'll keep it, even though it's a single. Okay, so getting rid of that four dot was good. They weren't ready to chow. Anytime someone has a chow, you know they're going to be in that suit for, for a eight-point minimum table because they're going to be playing half flesh. Seven dots. So their dots are going down. That, to me, if these other players are throwing dots, that means to me that they're probably playing all Pung and mixed suits. And there's validation there. So I want to keep getting rid of dots. I don't want to hold dots while this player to my right is trying to gather. Four dots. Since mixed suits are probably in these other players' hands, you never know what they're collecting. East wind. Okay, we'll hold the dragon. Five characters. We only have one actionable Nine block dots. here with the seven. Bam. North wind. That's the second one out. Three. So characters. that'll be a good discard next. We have a dragon now. We could maybe pung that. Three dots. Seven dots. So they're in mixed suits. You never know what they could be holding. Five bamboo. The north should be a good safe discard. Six dots. West wind. Kong. Four bamboos. Five. We need more bams. Or the east. They got mahjong. All pong. Dragon pong. And, yeah, that's, let's see, all pung, dragon pung, and they self-picked win. Okay, very, very nice. That was a nice win. Okay, that was the last hand for the live stream. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. If you are new to this game, I hope you enjoyed this. It is a lot of fun to play. It's a great way to keep your mind active. And let's see here. I don't know if Taylor's still in the room. Pound or hashtag new. I'm glad you came by. I hope that you uh, got an idea of what it's like to play the game. It's a lot of fun. 
And thank you, everybody, for coming. Thanks, Marnie. Thank you all for joining me on this live stream. I always have a good time. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Jingles. I'm glad you got to come. And it was nice to see you, Long Island, coming again. And then our regulars, Peg, Peggy, Mary, Jenra, Shirley, Long Island, you're becoming a regular. I appreciate that. Kathy, it was nice to have you here. Gerald, if you're still with us, thank you for coming. And of course, Laura. Laura is a regular. And Marnie, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's always good to see you here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. After you subscribe, click that little gray bell because that will give you notifications for when I go live or when I publish a new video. Oh, Joyce Lynn, I'm glad you chimed in here. Thanks for coming to the live stream. So next week will be Siamese Mahjong, Ameri using National Mahjong League rules. So if you play American Mahjong and you want to see what it's like to play two hands at one time, that is Siamese Mahjong. It's very challenging and a lot of fun to play. So if you want to check that out, join me next Sunday. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.